This video will cover basic oscilloscope features. The drive is currently set up for triggered time curves. The rising edge of X4.6 will start curve ID number 8. The motor is already enabled and homed. In the project tree, click on the oscilloscope, and then double click default. Open the oscilloscope settings. The recording time needs to be changed to 3.2 seconds because the curve is 3 seconds long. We will add a trigger to the oscilloscope. Condition A will be used. The trigger will be set up to be on the rising edge of demand position being 10 millimeters. We go back to the general settings and check the channels and what they're recording. Click OK to save the changes. To arm the oscilloscope, click the green triangle on the top of the screen and go back to the control panel and trigger the curve. Once the curve is completed, we can go back to the oscilloscope and see the results. The data can be adjusted to fit the screen by clicking the Fit View button. There's also an option to fit view with same units. To duplicate this recording, click on the top level of the oscilloscope. Then right click and select Duplicate Item. The copied scope has the same settings as the original. This time we'll add a pre-trigger and see the differences between the two recordings. Arm the scope, go back to the control panel, and run the curve. The data looks similar to the last one, but hit Fit View to notice the differences. The recording with the pre-trigger started collecting data before the trigger. To change the name and add comments, right-click and select Edit Properties. I will make a note that a pre-trigger was added for this recording. When in the scope, you can click and drag to zoom in on a particular feature. There are also two cursors available that can be moved around. They allow you to see all the data at a certain point in time. There are a few ways to save these oscilloscope recordings. The first is create a CSV file. To do that, click the Export Data button on top. Name the file and choose the location to store it. The other way to save these recordings is to save the configuration file. I save both to the desktop and can open both without being logged into the drive. Thank you for watching Linma Tutorials.